Thanks for tuning in to Crochet with Bill J. Today I'll show you how to crochet this simple bikini top. It's a very easy pattern. We're going to use half double crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, slip stitch, and chain stitch. If you are unfamiliar with these stitches, please watch my video on basic crochet stitches linked in the description below before you attempt this pattern. Now let's get started. All you need to begin this project is a size 4 millimeter crochet hook and a worsted weight yarn. I'm using an acrylic. Begin with a slip knot. Insert your hook. And no matter what size top you're making, we're going to start the same way with chain 12. 1, 2, 3, and 12. Now we're going to work back in the other direction. We're going to skip the first two chain and we're going to work into the third chain. We're going to do 10 half double crochet stitches. So that's a yarn over and insert your hook, pull through, yarn over again, pull through three. That's the stitch we're going to be using for most of this pattern, at least for this first section. So go ahead and do 10 of those into each of your chain. nine and ten chain one turn your work now we're going to half double crochet ten more stitches going back in the other direction eight, nine, and ten. Next we're going to be working into the chain space that we created when we skipped two chain in that first row. We create a space in which we will do seven stitches. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And we will do 10 more stitches down the end. That first stitch is really close. It's right in there. If you're unsure, you can always count backwards from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So go ahead and do 10 more stitches to finish that row. nine, ten. Chain one, turn your work. This is what we have so far. Now we're going to start the next row and when I say row I'm referring to both when we go down one edge, do our peak, and then back down the other edge as one, ro one row. So to start the next row we're going to half double crochet 13 stitches this time. Twelve, thirteen. So now you should be at the very top of this peak. This is the direction the bra cup is going to be on your body and we're going to be doing the increase here at the top in each row. So go ahead and do now five half double crochet into that top middle stitch. Four, 
four, five, and go back down the other end with another 13 stitches. So that row we did 13, five at the top, and another 13 back down the edge. At the end of the row, chain one, turn your work, the next row we'll do 15 stitches down, 5 stitches at the center top, and another 15 stitches back down. Fourteen, fifteen. Chain one, turn your work. You can see our cup shape forming here. It might look a little warped, but it's going to be fine. The next round will consist of seventeen stitches, five at the top center, and another seventeen stitches. So just continue with that pattern. The round after that would be then 19 stitches, five at the top center and 19 stitches. The round after that would be 21, five and 21 and so on and so forth. For a size small, you're gonna wanna have at least 25 stitches on either side and you can keep adding as many rounds as you need depending on the cup size you need. So I'm gonna do a medium. I'm gonna work up to 27 stitches on either side. I'll show you what my cup looks like then. This is what I have after 10 rounds, or for counting stitches, I just did 27, 5, and 27. This is good for maybe a B cup. You can see it has a little bit of a cup shape. It will have a little bit more of a cup shape when we go around one more time. So keep that in mind when sizing that we're going to be doing one more round around the whole thing when we connect the two cups. So go ahead and make your second cup exactly the same size and then we'll sew them together. Once you've finished your two cups, they should be the same size. Don't cut your yarn because we're gonna pick up right where we left off here. We're gonna sew across both bottoms to connect the cups. Line them up so all your strands are on the outside so we don't have any hanging in the middle of our piece. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Insert your hook. Right in that loop where we left off at the corner. Chain two. And now we're going to do 20 stitches along this bottom side. And it isn't exactly clear where we're doing the stitches since we're just kind of going in the side of our previous rows. But just squeeze them in there wherever there's a space. If you're doing a small size top, you should do 18 stitches across the bottom cup. And if you're doing a size large, you should do 22 to 24 or maybe 26 stitches along the bottom. See, I'm kind of just going in wherever. We have this middle string here to know exactly where we started, which is the exact middle. So as long as you have 10 stitches, by the time you get to that point, you should be in good shape. Try to keep your stitches as evenly spaced as you can. Do one last stitch in that corner and grab your other cup. Line it up and just go right into another stitch in that other corner. And keep going.
after you've gone all the way across chain one turn your work and go back in the other direction with another 40 stitches and maybe go back one more time so you have a nice strong support for under your bust once you've gone back and forth a couple times we're now going to do the tie straps we're going to pick up right where we left off again and we're going to chain 80 Once you've done 80 chain, we're going to work back down the chain doing single crochet. So go ahead and do 80 single crochet until you get back to the cup. Go to the very last chain. When you get to this point, we're now going to work up this edge, continuing with the single crochet. So we're going to do three stitches here where we did three rows going this direction. And then we're going to continue up this end doing a single crochet in every stitch. Once you get to the top of that peak, if you're following my stitch count, I just did 32 stitches from the three we did here, plus 29 up the side. Your stitch count may vary differently if you're doing a different size. But wherever that top middle stitch is, do one more single crochet, and then chain 80. And we're going to make another tie strap, just like we did before where we chain 80 and then single crochet back down that 80 and then continue along this edge of our top. And we're going to go around the whole thing and make a nice border. As you get down back to that top corner, do another single crochet into that center top stitch where you did a single crochet here also. So there's two in that one stitch at the top and then make your way down with single crochet until you get to the middle, and I'll show you what to do there. Once you've gotten to this point, there's two different things you can do. Go right down to the very last stitch in this corner, and you can either hop right across and do a stitch here, and I'll show you what that looks like. It leaves a little hole in the center, which actually could be a really nice starting point for a further design if you continue on with this top. Or if you want it closed, I'll show you what you can do to do that. Right down here in the center, kind of go down a little bit and directly through the middle of that stitch and do a slip stitch. and then continue on with single crochet back up the other side. And that will give you a nice closed look. So continue going up the side, doing another 80 chain for the tie strap on top here, and just do exactly what we did on this side. Here, I'll zoom out so you can see. Here's a better view of what we have so far. You're just going to continue up this side, do another 80 chain for your top tie strap, back down this side, one more chain of 80 for your final tie strap, and you can tie your work off, and you're done. And here's our finished top. Hopefully that all made sense. It's the easiest bikini top pattern I could come up with, and it's a great starting point that you can work from, add to, and get creative with to make your own unique top. Do me a favor and thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming patterns and projects, including more advanced crop tops that use this pattern as a base. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.